youngest bishop in the Anglican Church today. He's Bishop John Orina Omangi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Karibu sana, Bishop. Wow. Did you always know you had a calling to be a bishop to serve in the church? Honestly, I didn't know that I had a calling. Uh, only that when I was in primary school, uh, my fellow pupils used to call me pastor. And uh, this name, I really rejected it from onset. Yes. But you didn't know it was a prophecy? I didn't know that uh, it would turn out to be where I am now. If you could uh, quickly tell us, why do they call you the youngest bishop? What is the requirement? According to the Anglican tradition and constitution in Kenya, those who become bishops must have attained the age of 35. But historically, we have never had a bishop consecrated at the age of 35. <laughs> I am the first one to be consecrated at that age in the Anglican Church of Kenya. This is the time for the youth, and the church is sending out a message that the youth should uh, take up responsibility in the church and everywhere. What are some of the challenges that you went through when you were pursuing education? The fighting of the parents because of drinking, family challenges, sometimes if you were hungry, in fighting, of parents did make us sleep outside. No, I finished my standard age. Then uh, I was called to school. Uh, after scoring uh, uh, 396, we were doing seven subjects by then. But uh, when I took the letters, the parents that have been uh, called to, uh, to this school, they told me that they are not able. Were you satisfied with mm -hmm. that answer? I decided to move away from church, from home to church. And we thank God for those whom I found at the church, especially the pastors who were staying there, who accommodated me. I became their household. I decided uh, to negotiate with the head teacher to allow me to come to school at, uh, at uh, 8, 8, 8 a.m. and leave at around 4. So they have to get back and work and get some money so that I pay us uh, school fees. Uh, because uh, I didn't see an option of getting money. I remember even uh, asking uh, one of the uncles around to help me with something, but they refused. Uh, but we thank God for that. It uh, helped me to run to God. You're a high school kid. What exactly would you do to be able to make money to pay for your school fees? Some of the things I used to do is, uh, one is digging in people's shamba. Uh, I could go to people's shamba and ask for, I can work for it, I can dig this mm -hmm. shamba. So I could be given a contract of uh, digging somebody's uh, farm. For me, for lunch, I used to pesk on the sun uh, for all the time. Uh, sometimes I have 10 bob or 5 things, I go and buy sugarcane, I use sugarcane, then uh, after lunch we get into the class, we continue with our studies. For four years? For four years. All those four years were difficult for me. How would you encourage parents or families that are struggling to pay school fees for their, for their children? A parent should not leave his or her children in a restaurant. Let them try to support those children because uh, the many disappointments that we are seeing now is a result of some parents who fail somewhere along the line. How about the students that uh, that don't want to, even if their education is free, they still don't want to pursue it? Do they have an excuse? Don't divert the rest of right focus on your education and uh, it will protect you. You will make your name great. Uh, if you open doors for you. And those who have no police to support them, mm. that's not their end. You can rise beyond your limitation. I refuse to not to be imprisoned. My mind to be imprisoned by what uh, my people told me that they cannot be able to take you to school. I refuse to be imprisoned. So don't accept to be imprisoned in your mind. There is a big thing I had to take the first step and the next door will be open for you. Determination, courage and focus has come in handy for Bishop John Orina. He can do it, you can do it. 
beyond the limit show is here to remind you that you have everything that all great men have. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much, Bishop. Thank you for coming. Thank you.